Education is the result of good upbringing, especially knowledge of correct social behavior, training, breeding. Also, education is the gradual process of acquiring knowledge. Nigeria law requires compulsory education for all students between the ages of 6 and 15 years. Students in primary and secondary school attend three equally divided sessions from January through December with about a month vacation between sections. Nigeria's education system was once tailored after the British model and later after the American model, in which Nigeria switched to the American system of six primary, three junior secondary and three senior secondary school grades, but rigid examination system remained. To qualify for entry into junior secondary school JSS, senior secondary school SSS, and higher education, nationwide examinations are held each year because exam scores determine a student's future educational choices. Schools tend to stress memorization of facts rather than creative problem solving. Few decades ago, Every step of the educational process from getting admission to the higher institution to earning grades in departments was based on merit, but not anymore. Few decades ago, you dare not sort or bribe a headmaster in a village grammar school, not to talk of a lecturer or professor in a Nigerian university. It is affirmed that 70% of graduates are unemployable because of their poor quality. Nigerians' education system is rather quantitative than qualitative oriented. The state of our technical education is sad commentary because the good old days where technical schools symbolized future technocrats and technologists, somehow the story turned bizarre. It is sad that some political opportunists still assume that education is a privilege in Nigeria. After two decades of United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO declaration that education is a right. One thing for sure, the success of an educational enterprise, particularly in terms of quality, depends to a large extent on the regular supply of teachers in adequate quantity and quality. As our youths are faced with a new curriculum challenge, that of acquiring the basic knowledge it is for the teacher's skill to teach the new curriculum. National policy on education also states that all teachers in the nation's educational institutions from pre-primary to university will be professionally trained. It is important to note that for any national aspirations to be met in the areas of education, the teacher factor cannot be undermined because the teacher is the heart of the educational progress and also the main determinant of the educational system. But teachers are not properly taken care of by government and private sector. There is unpaid salaries here and there which lead to teacher strike. This will decrease the performance of student academic. Therefore, we must all make deliberate efforts to improve on the general well-being of school systems to safeguard our teaming youths from social vices.